By the way, is that a is that a uh, a wrestling belt on your wall? Oh no no no! It's from when I was uh, in Saudi Arabia. It's like the armband to indicate that you're a cop. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait wait, dude, were you like a <laughs> Like, that looks like some WWF shit right there. <laughs> awesome. So funny. What's going on, everybody? We're live here with Preston P. Nasty Schmidley. What up, represent, what up? Representing the Good Vibe Squad, also Digital Natives Academy. If you're an insurance agent, definitely check out what he's got going on, uh, both on the, well, I think on the Done For You side, more for loan officers, and then uh, with the Academy for, for, for uh, insurance agents. Definitely awesome. Yeah. Some awesome training and stuff that they've got going on inside of there. What's up, man? Thanks for joining that, me today. Yeah, for sure. And, and I'm honored. I, really, I came to this call to figure out how I win that iPhone kit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Easy yeah. enough. Easy enough. Hey, uh, I had to rep the beanie because, you know, uh, Preston never is without without beanie. I think I've seen him once maybe without without the beanie. You so, may have. It was an emergency had, situation. Had to, you know, had, to, had to rock it just for, just for this case. Hey, but look, here's what we're giving away today. Here's what it actually looks like outside of the case. Okay. Nice. It's the same gorilla pod that like all the vloggers are using and stuff. It's pretty sweet. You take this little deal. It's got this Joby, uh, whatever this thing is, right? Bam. You that's just a nice one, man. Up. Yeah, man. It's pretty sweet. So that's what we're giving away, right? We've got the gorilla pod, or maybe it goes that way. Oh, we've you got, got the, the you pod. didn't get, I thought you got the cheapy AliExpress. No, you got the real deal. Oh, dude. Yeah. And then this one is the Cobra Tech. What's cool about it is that it clamps down. It has this thing right here. And so, it, you know, you can raise it up, clamp it down. So that's what we're giving away today. If you want to enter to win this, uh, comment at number one to 100. Comment one to 100 in, while we're live here. And, uh, and we're going to give that away after Preston's, uh, Preston's awesome tip. Um, so that's how, you, that's how you enter to win. If you have something to say to Preston, obviously say whatever you want to say to him in the comments also. And, <laughs> but otherwise, otherwise, this is how you enter to win the iPhone kit. So like I said, this is the same thing that, that all the vloggers are using out there. Like, what's up? You can show your life off or shoot easy videos. If you're a loan officer, go make videos with your insurance agent or your realtors. You know, if you're an insurance agent, right, same thing, right? Go make videos with other people or make your own little marketing videos. Makes it's the way of the future. Yeah, man. I think definitely videos, people got to get more and more into videos, right? Well, I think, I, I, so I think that the, the you know, and, and this is, we, we always discuss, you know, the, the, the new tactics uh, over strategy, but at the end of it, um, I think a lot of people kind of forget that it's all about relationships, man. And yeah. internet just really, you know, it's like, it's easy to, you know, get caught swept up in all this, the, the chat bots and the sexy automations and all that. But at the end of the day, what's really important is let's, let's communicate with people. Right. And, yeah, totally. uh, and so I, I like what you're doing, man, because I think video allows us, you know, especially in, a, in, in we're, we've never been in such a busy time in our life. Um, video allows for us to like, for instance, I met you once, once, no, tw what? Was twice, it once? Now. twice yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I've known you for years. I mean, I have known you for years, but like, I, it's actually, it feels like this is a, like, you know, like we went to high school and shit. Um, and, and that's because of video. So like mad, mad respect for what you're doing. I think that's an awesome movement to be a part of. Appreciate that, man. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, video is cool, right? Like a lot of people are, everybody watches videos, but people are still scared to get on video for whatever reason. And, and it's like, you know, the cool thing about video is you can, people get all your communication, right? Same thing like this, you know, they can see our movements and all these, whatever things that we've right. got going on. Right. And p people will feel like they, just like you're saying, people will feel like they already super know you, right. even though you've never actually met in person. It's like, it, it can almost be kind of awkward. Right. I remember one time <laughs> we, I went to this like corporate retreat one time and I'm in the lobby of the hotel. We're all checking in. I think we were in Mexico and this lady goes, Oh my God, is that the Facebook Nick Carpenter? And I was like, okay, this is, this is too much, you know? <laughs> That's hilarious, and, uh, bro. Yeah, but cool, man. Well, you want to jump into your, uh, jump into your tip and don't forget if you're, if you haven't already comment a number one to a hundred, so you can get a chance to win this iPhone video kit. And, uh, we number got an seven. awesome tip from Preston coming up right now. Are you ready? Yeah. So essentially I wanted to, uh, I actually, this is, this is something that was spurred, um, from a conversation I had with one of our done for you, uh, mortgage clients the other day. And, um, one of the biggest things, cause we, we, you know, we've generated tens of thousands of leads at this point for loan officers. I mean, we also do it for insurance agents, but the bulk of our, you know, our bread and butter is, is the, the mortgage industry, just, just like you. So, which by the way, I hear awesome things about you through, through our sales calls and stuff like that when I watch recordings. So, um, mad, mad love to, to Nick Carpenter for any loan officers watching this. If you're not already working with him, he's the real deal. And it's, it's pretty rare for you to hear competition saying that about competition. So I think that's pretty authentic. Yeah, um, sure. Hey, I respect you the same way. That's why you're here. You know, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. um, what I wanted to really talk about 
is, is actually, you know, it's like you were talking about video to start. This is about the humanizing uh, of, of these relationships. Um, and the correlation between, I used to be a dating coach back in, in, um, high school and college and <laughs> it might sound abstract, but, um, I studied pickup artistry in junior high and high school. And it became like a, a thing where I actually noticed a real need, uh, you know, especially for men, obviously, but, um, it, I, I noticed a real need for it. And I think that that is a lot of where my sales background and my marketing background actually came from was from dating. Um, and so, I've noticed a lot of correlations, you know, cause we, we set up, uh, and, and I know you do this for, you know, some of your done for your clients and stuff like that too, but you, you, you know, we've, we've obviously learned leads aren't enough. Like if you, and, and it's, it's ironic because the same people that leads are enough for, you could give those people a phone book and a parachute, drop them into any city in the nation. They'll figure it out. Right. Yeah. And so, and so we've learned that leads aren't enough and by themselves, leads are leads are leads. I mean, like, yes, you can have easier ones and you can have harder ones, but a good salesperson is going to knock out a name, a first name and a phone number, just as good as he is a seven, a 17 point survey. So what I realized is when I was doing an audit uh, of a conversation, right. And I noticed that the person, um, the person had, uh, they were saying, well, the system, you know, the system doesn't work and stuff like that. Um, I, I audited it and I saw, you know, the, 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 the prospect had texted them back, you know, saying, I want to move to this place. I want to, this is my budget. This is what bedrooms and bathrooms. This is what my family's looking for. I think that's a pretty good start to a conversation. Yeah. And the person responds to that text message with a series of seven emails, very harassively like, and then, and then he goes, yeah, the, dude, this, this dude's not serious. He, he doesn't respond. I'm like, well, first of all, he, he did. And, and you decided to change the communication platform. But then I went diving deeper and I started to realize, you know, not only that, but the, the person never showed up for the weekly consulting calls and the person, um, the person never, you know, there was a lot of stuff that they dropped the ball on. And, and when they did communicate with leads, um, this is actually something that for any loan officers here, this is less prevalent for insurance agents, but this is definitely important for anybody who has a link to quote or buy. Um, I think that this is where a lot of people miss the mark and this has been a trend, especially in the mortgage industry that I think really needs to end is that mortgage loan officers, when they feel like they have somebody that might be interested, they send them a link to their application. Yeah. And I don't know what you see on your side, but I, I've noticed that that's really the, where the breakdown starts to occur be, uh, because, um, you know, we, we talk to these people and, and, and every agent, every loan officer romanticizes their, uh, you know, their position. Well, I'm, I'm local. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm an authority, you know, I'm better than Quicken. I can't, you know, I can't believe people use Quicken. But when you send somebody a link to your portal, you are no better than Quicken. There's right. no difference at that point. And actually, I would even bat you're less than Quicken because Quicken made that their business model and they built systems to accommodate that. Whereas you're just the local loan officer who has a link. And so it's like, you know, you are the local loan officer, but there is power in that if you actually leverage that, right? And so the core of, of this thought was, I was looking back to, you know, when I would coach guys and, and, and uh, you know, I would actually go on, on dates with them. Like not, I wouldn't sit at the table with them, but like I would, I would like just hang out. I'd, I'd act like I'm just a guy at a table watching, you know, and I would just observe. And you know, that way I could see, cause obviously getting dates, I would do that for them. So it's a lot like generating leads for a client of ours. Right. right. Um, but like I realized too, you could set somebody up on a hundred dates. Right. And when the, the, the person, let's say they're going to meet with a lady and the lady's like, you know, I, so this is what I do for work, but I don't know that I'm passionate about it. And you're like, want to have sex? She's gonna be like, what? Like you're a, you're not listening, but B that doesn't even make sense. We can all agree that that's weird, right? right? And so if that person came back to you after 100 dates and goes, yeah, dude, I hired you to help me out. This doesn't work, man. These women aren't, these aren't, you know, these women aren't serious. You know, nobody wants to actually hook up. And you're like, well, what's happening on the dates? Well, I'm asking them and they're saying no. And it's like, okay, well, what, what do you actually, we all know that that's weird in a dating culture, right? Like, I think that we can all agree well, okay, yeah, it's a first date. You got to learn about them. You're figuring out what, what, what they're serious about. If you even want to have a second date, right? There's a lot, of, a lot of things like that. And I think it's really easy for us to break that down, you know, when it's something as universal as, as just finding a life partner. And uh, one of the things that um, 
it, it's simple, but we need to remember that when we're having these conversations, leads and automations aren't going to make a sale, whether it's insurance, whether it's mortgage. At the end of the day, you have to nurture that. And so that's what I wanted to use as a foundation. And, I, and we can dive in. And I, I, I blocked out an hour. I don't know how long you want to make this, Nick, but I, I wanted to, and I'm open to go over some strategies for how people can actually take what would have just been sending a link and break that down to some simple steps on how to actually still get the same point across, but in a more um, conversational and actually human manner. You're, you're laughing and I just saw Nick Ayers pop up on my phone, but it, okay. Now <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing what you he's just constantly He's just constantly in the comments. Uh, yeah. Okay, can't so I, I'll be honest and say, I didn't have anywhere near an hour plan for this. Um, but, <laughs> no, but it's fine. Totally, yes, totally. You know, I mean, I want to make sure that you do get a chance to, to put your pieces yeah. out there, you know, cause sure. I think it's awesome content. Yeah. And Kevin, I, uh, I, I can't coach you. You're uncoachable. Um, <laughs> I'm actually surprised you found a wife. I don't even know if she's real. I want to see her on a Zoom call or else I think you're lying. Right. Um, I have seen pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Elton John had a wife too. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but what was the other one here? Eric? Yeah, no, it, it is. You jumped the gun, man. And it's, and it's our responsibility, right? Like I think part of it is like we have to trust, you know, we can't trust our job to the prospect. And at the end of the day, that's what that is, right? We're, we're going, no, you fill out the app. Well, do right. we want the loan? If I, if you're look, if you're staring at six grand in the face, I'm gonna make a damn phone call. That's the way I look at it. I don't want to trust this. Your internet could die. The power could cut out. A bomb could get dropped. I don't know what could happen. But what I want to know is that I'm on the phone with you, getting the information I need to get the application into the system. At the end of the day, that's all I care about. And so, you know, uh, I'll just make this really quick, just so that we can, you know, get on with our day. I know that's important for you. Um, so essentially what I did was I took this and I broke this down into a, essentially a three part series. This is specific to loan officers, but the product in the industry is irrelevant. Switch, switch out your product and service. So essentially in the first email, what we do is we communicate, um, which is very basic, right? So, so the, I, I'm a firm believer in message sent message received. I think every contact that you have with a prospect needs to have message sent message received. Okay. So every time I get asked a question, whether, whether it's good or bad, I always honor it. I go, you know, Nick, that's a really good question. Because at the end of the day, we're both going to go on with our lives. And, and as long as you feel better about yourself and you don't feel stupid for asking a question, which I think we all are a little too hard on ourselves, but it's like, right. it's a question, right? So I'm going to make you feel validated. So, um, you know, that's a really good question, Nick. Um, so that's the first thing is I honor questions from a prospect. And the second thing is if somebody tells me, like for instance, let's say my because we do automation. So let's say a text or an email is asking where they want to move, what their budget is, you know, how big or, or some of the features they're looking for. Once they give me that, I'm going to respond with something that is, I'm going to, something emotional. So, oh, you know, Nick, that's really exciting. I actually have a few ideas of homes in that area with your, like with what you're looking for, dude. Like this is exciting. Um, I, I do have a few questions about it, though, just so I can verify that, um, you know, that I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying. Do you have five minutes to chat right now? It's super simple. So that's the first step. And then you get them on the phone and then you actually just like what I do at that point is I verify my lead information, right? So, Hey Nick, um, you know, I just want to make sure, uh, that I have your name spelled correctly. First of all, so N I C K, right? Okay, great. And this is your number. Obviously you picked up and is this your email? Great. So you said you're looking for four bedrooms, two bathrooms in, uh, you know, Denver, Colorado. Um, you know, that's great. I actually, I do have a few homes there. Um, and you said you're looking for four bedrooms, two bath. Uh, is, do you have a family? And you're going to be like, yeah, I do. I have a kid. Oh, great. Now we're building rapport. Right. And so now I, I go into more of a transition where it's going to be like, a, I'm going to ask a question for rapport. I'm going to ask a question for the app question for rapport question for app. That's really cool, man. That's awesome that you have a, that, that, that you, uh, that you're raising a family, man. I got a seven year old as well. So, um, just so I can know, uh, as well for the qualification, what is your guys's monthly income? You know, I'm going to get in there and then I'm going to talk about, that's really awesome, man. So what do you do? What do you do with your, um, you know, when you're not working, do, do you guys have hobbies? Like, you know, and then after that, I'm going to go back into the next question that I need for the application. Um, so I, I think it's really important, you know, do, do what you can to get them on the phone because at the end of the day, like I know we, we all get this technology. We're all trying to go away from, I don't think, let me rephrase that. I don't think we're trying to go away from interpersonal. I think that we're trying to go towards shiny objects that happen to defer the interpersonal relationship. And at the end of the day, you can't, you, you can't fake the funk. Like the, 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 right. 
you know, there, there is a component that people buy from people and the people that don't want to buy from people are going to buy from the Quickens of the world or the Geico's of the world that are much better equipped to not have interpersonal communication than you and I are. Right. Right. Yeah. It seems like people so, try to avoid that interpersonal because that's where the hard work is at. Right. It they is. And throw the link out there and they don't have to talk to a person or sell or get into all that stuff. They can try to avoid that. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, you know, you just have to self-evaluate too and be realistic. Like, you know, if you're, if you're in that situation and you know, it's like, well, I'm a loan officer. I, do you take pride in that? Absolutely. I do. Okay. So when you send a link and this could be insurance or mortgage or anything, really anything it could be a widget, uh, you know, and you send a link, you know, you have to ask yourself, what value did I provide above link the quicken? Right. None. Absolutely. Actually, you provided less because Quicken is going to have a baller ass automation sequence that's going to be 100 percent on point with where they're at in their client journey. You don't have that. You have probably whatever your company's CRM set up. And let's be honest, they don't have professional copywriters. I swear they don't. So, Definitely not. <laughs> you, you know, and so, and so in that situation, you just have to be honest. Am I actually providing, and, and this word gets thrown around and abused, value to the client. Am I making their life better, right? And, and I think a simple tip too for insurance agents or for loan officers, and this has actually worked really well, is we forget about the value that we actually provide, right? So when you talk to a client, they go, well, what's this about? So what our program is, right? And program's arbitrary, right? I don't use that just for state programs. Pro- a program's a program. If you work with me, you're in my program, right? So what our program is, is we actually help do all of the financing options. We find we do all the research for you so you don't have to worry about it. We take care of the paperwork. We take care of helping you find the home. We're going to do the, all the research to make sure that we're meeting your specific requirements for your family because we want you to be in your dream home. We're going to take care of that. I'm going to connect you with my trusted advisor, your real estate agent. I'm going to connect you with my trusted advisor so that you don't have to worry about who you're talking to and if you trust them or not. I can guarantee this person is vetted. They're experienced. They are awesome at what they do. They will help you find the home of your dreams. And, and you just, you essentially communicate your process. And I think that we forget about that, right? What I just communicated is not sending a link. It's, right. it's just a standard part of your job, but we forget, we get commoditized and we feel the pressure of daily struggle, right? And so it's about communicating what are the actual things that you do, right? Because if you and I talk about, you and, you and we have, you know, we talk about leads and to us it's really casual to talk about high level strategies. But, you know, we often forget if we were to do that to somebody at Safeway or Fred Myers or if we should go to the post office, <laughs> they'd be like, what are you talking about? And that's the right. same for a mortgage loan officer or an insurance agent to their prospect. So like we often oversimplify what our value is to the relationship. And so it's about getting back to that and just reminding each prospect about your actual value proposition. Like, and, and it's as simple as like, I'm going to take care of all the paperwork for you because it's your job. You have to do it anyways, but they don't know that. Like, so remind them. Right. And so, um, remember if you wouldn't do it on a date, don't do it with a lead. Um, I think that's a fair rule of life. Um, and, and remember that, and this is really important too, because a lot of people forget this. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we look at leads like how the lead didn't pick up, they didn't call, like the, the, there's a human being on the other side of that, right? A human being took 10 fingers, I, usually, and they typed in answers to, you know, three to 20 questions, right? And then if they scheduled an appointment with you, they retyped their first name, their last name, their email, and their phone number. They spent time on that. Right. So to, to, to write them off and say they're disinterested, you and I both know that's false. They're, they have a life. They're a human being on the other end of that line, right? And so we need to treat them as such. So remember, if you wouldn't do it on a date, don't do it to a lead. That's my advice for today. Awesome, man. I like it. That's great <laughs> advice. <laughs> we, have, we have heaters. This is just Preston's look, man. Preston rocks the baby. So I have by the way, a- by the way, man, if you want one of these, I got you. Oh, yeah, dude. I definitely want one. Hook me up, man. I got you, man. I'm still waiting for my Mick, uh, McLeeds shirt officially. Ooh. So if anybody knows McBilly and can put that word in his ear, I'm going <laughs> to yeah, he maybe has I my, can. He has my address. <laughs> I may have some. Yeah, well, no. So he actually, it's funny you say that. Because uh, when we were in New York, he was like, our, uh, he was like our, our point there. And he like he literally spent a whole day with us, which I, I was very grateful for. And so there was a hat that we wanted to buy, but we didn't have time. And so he's like, oh, I bought it for you. Don't worry. And it took like two months for this guy. To, I was like, I felt like I was, in, I was negotiating on a hostage. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I will send, how much money do you want? He's like, awesome. it's not about the money. I'm like, what, what? What do you want from me? love that love that hey we're gonna give away the uh, iphone kit in just a second let's do so it 
If you haven't already, make sure that you um, put your number in the comments, and I'm gonna go pull up the, I'm gonna go pull up the random.org number generator and see what we got. All right, all right, so we'll give one, one extra second. All right, Preston, real quick, if people want to, uh, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, honestly, I mean, with what we do, I live on Facebook, so you can Facebook me. Um, you could just search Preston Schmidley. You'll either find my business page or my personal page. Either way, you're going to find my personal page. You can also email me at Preston at goodvibesquad.com. Um, I'd be happy to do, you know, if somebody has questions or if, if you're looking to potentially um, have a done for you model where we generate leads, set up automations, do weekly consulting calls and, and just set you up for, for, you know, maximum success. We'd be happy to do that as well. At the end of the day, just want to help people crush it. Awesome, man. For sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, if you're looking for a done for you, holler at Preston on the mortgage lead side. If you're looking for uh, to learn an, a system for insurance agents to go out and get more business partners and crush it on, on your business, but doing it yourself through learning and support, then, you know, definitely check out Digital Natives Academy as well. Absolutely. And I will say for the loan officers watching this, this is not, I'm, I'm not even going to plug myself. It, you know, we have plenty of marketing going out, so I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I will say if you have an opportunity to work with this guy, okay, this guy right here, Nick, he's, he's incredible. Um, I'm not even trying to hop on this call to get traffic from him. I just, <laughs> I literally just, I was like, you know, this is a chance to hang out. I haven't talked to him in a month. So, um, you know, if you get a chance to work with him, seriously, give him your money. You're not going to regret it. The dude's a G. He cares about his people more than most people do. Um, it's one of my favorite things about him, and he knows his shit. So um, straight up, if you're thinking about working with him or I, hire us both. But uh, I, think, I think you'd definitely be winning if you hired Nick. So that's just my, my uh, word of advice outside of um, the other word of advice today. Well, I appreciate that. And the other one is don't do something on a, on a, with your leads that you wouldn't do on a date. On a date. Right. Boom. That's a great, great tip. All right, man. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be back again tomorrow at 11 o'clock Mountain Time with Tim Shermack and the Million Dollar Listener. You guys should be there for that. Definitely Thanks, be there man. for that. All right. We'll Take see care, you. Take care, guys. Later.